So let's quickly add the input fields for uploading this video that is the user can add information about the specific video which the user is going to upload. So for that purpose after the video player first of all we will add some space size box of height 30 and then we will start adding the input fields. Now here we will use the ternary operator that is if the user has clicked the upload button that is add now button or you can say upload now button if the user has clicked that okay the upload now button then in that case the progress bar the circular progress bar we will display using the ternary operator of course we have to add condition circular progress bar we will display that okay if the upload button upload now button if the user if user clicked the moment when the user click on the upload now button we will display the circular progress bar otherwise else we will display the input fields okay that is first of course the user has to fill up the input fields for this upload form and then click on the upload now button just like you guys see in the registration screen and the login screen okay for just like that so anyways we have to define the same variable or we have already defined that initialize it actually which is the show progress bar so what we can do is we can now come here and we can just say we can use that same global variable okay which we already initialized so we can say show progress bar so if the show progress bar if it has a value true then in that case it simply means that the, the user fill up already fill up the sign of form and the user clicked on the upload now button so in that case show progress bar will have a true value and we will start displaying the progress bar otherwise let me quickly add here for that a container okay inside this container we will implement that otherwise else if the show progress bar has a value false then in that case we will uh, start displaying the input fields and that we will implement inside this column widget so now let's just add that remove this const from here control x and inside this container we can say now const symbol circular progress bar the same progress bar which we implemented on our registration screen and on the other screen let me just copy it for the time saving okay the same the same thing so the same progress colors we want to display just like this okay and then after comes the animation duration and the back color so we can add that here and as container is a single child widget so we have to add here that this simple circular progress bar is the child widget it is the child widget okay it is the child widget of this container then after it let's implement our input field so inside this column widget for the time saving let's just copy this piece of code which is for the you know for the input fields so i can simply copy this password input that is password or email input okay just copy this whole container and we will modify it okay just copy this email input container and first of all we will have artist song then we will have the description tags so let's just copy it one here and one copy paste okay paste it here one here paste it here and paste it here okay so make sure to import the input text widget 
and now we will define text setting controllers first of all for the artist song so we can say artist song then after it the description tags and let's define their required controller text editing controller for them so we can say inside the upload form state text editing controller text editing controller let's give it name as artist song text editing controller text editing controller then we have the description tags text editing controller so for the artist we have artist artist song text editing controller then description tags text writing controller so now if you hot reload hot restart then you will see that okay these are our input fields which we just added okay the artist song and the description tags as you can see now in between of course we have to add some space so above the description tags we can just say add a size box of height 10 like that for the artist song the icon will be music video sharp that is this one and then for the description tags the icon will be slideshow underscore sharp just like this that is description tags for the video which the user is going to upload so yeah that's it now after it of course we will have the button first I will add comment and I can simply say upload now button now for the time saving we will go to the registration screen and from here we can copy a button quickly this button on the registration screen which is the sign up button as you know it is inside this inkwell and inkwell is inside this container okay as you can see we have write this comment with it so just copy this whole container from here and come back here to the upload form and below this comment upload now button you can simply paste it now in here what we need to do is of course we will remove all the code from inside this on tab as we do not need that we need just this button so the name of this button will be upload now like this and the background color let me just hot reload or restart as you can see this is the upload now button the background color for this if you want of course you can change it and we can change it to white 10 white 10 is too much dark let's go with white 70 so white 70 is enough so yeah let's add some space between the description input and the button like this so after this button let's also add some space so yeah this is our upload form that is the video upload form actually so yeah that's it this is all about our video upload form and in the next video from the next video we will start working on first we will get input from the user that is the artist song then of course the description tags and then when the user click on the upload now button we will start uploading the information to the firestore database of course first of all we will upload the video file to the storage firebase storage and once it is uploaded successfully to the firebase storage just like the image file on registration screen once the video file is uploaded successfully to the firebase storage we will get the download url link okay as a response from it and then alongside with the, that download url link we will save this artist song and description text to the firestore database 
so yeah we will go step by step so don't worry you will understand everything okay as we have developed this application up to here step by step and I am hopeful that you have learned everything which I have teach from the start